Hey fruits and vegetables, welcome back to Hali Yogurt and Banana Peel and in this episode we are going to be doing the 60 transverse colon and first of all let's upgrade our Ponty to the next one which was I completely forgot it was to be yeah it looks like the lactobacillus is wearing a wig apparently but yeah let's just upgrade to be and let's just be on our way Chubby is completely maxed out and now let's just go read about her, you know, her, him, whatever. It seems that the method of absorbing impact by putting air into the mane proved effective. The lactobacillus's mane of small airbags have evolved into the form of a single tube, which can maintain more air and thus fully protect the head. The lactobacillus is now called lactobacillus tubiton or tubi for short. Okay. Yeah, that one just looks like a broccoli. <laughs> a broccoli lactobacillus? Ah, wow. Okay, here we go. 60 transverse colon. Hopefully, we can do it. This is the last transverse colon. So, yes. And by the way, here we go. A small cut story, I guess. Competition. The hot potato of the medical world now is the immune system. This is because German and Australian academics with my competitor. Ehrlich and the French Academy to which I belong are arguing against each other. The French academics are arguing for innate immunity whereas small cells of the bacteria in the body, like lactobacillus that I am studying, react to foreign substances and bacteria to prevent disease and cause immune reactions. On the contrary, German academics strongly criticize my doctrine, advocating adaptive immunity in which antigens and antibodies in the blood react chemically to diseases to immunize. Our situation is disadvantageous. This is because the claims of German academics are exercising more influence in academia. However, if the study of lactobacillus is successful, we will be able to overturn the dominance at once. Okay, apparently okay. I, I kind of understood I guess but that was uh, another journal complete so we got a lot of cash. And right now, we can you know focus on completing the 60 transfers colon. Wait for my shield and uh, any time now. Uh, yeah, there you go. Come on, give me the shield. Come on. Give me the shield, please. Please, give me the shield. I'm wasting a lot of cash. There you go. Okay, fine. Since we have the shield, let's just get into the circus. Let's go.
finally we have done it the 60 transverse colon so as of now the transverse colon is done and the only remaining part which stands in our way of completing this experiment is the descending colon so yes in the next episode we will be starting the descending colon so yeah stay tuned for that so yes here we go we are going to enter the 61 descending colon let's go antarctic adventure again we already had an antarctic adventure before right if i'm not wrong that is okay yeah this is a lot harder yep definitely a lot harder than a transverse colon it feels a lot harder it looks a lot harder and it is a lot harder <laughs> so yes yep we are doing fine with our silver medal yes 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 hello penguins nice to meet you and banana peel i mean do do penguins eat bananas of course they don't banana peel what are you talking about oh yeah sorry about that they live in antarctic and i don't think you get bananas in antarctic so ah my bad i feel sad for them because they can't taste bananas anyway so yeah let's just go home and read about the 60 transverse colon let's go Okay, a few weeks ago, news of a big circus came to town, which was soon covered with flyers of the upcoming event. Naturally, my family wished to go, and I made the appropriate reservations for the show. Yet, the day of the circus brought with it a severe cold, and I am now lying in bed, sniffing and alone. After all, the tickets could not go to waste, but the silence of the house is perfect for me to continue my research. These days, I am studying the bipinaria, the larva of starfish, through the microscope. It is 0.3 mm in size with a transparent body that is interesting to observe. I hope my continuous observation will yield a new discovery. Don't worry scientist, by the time I am done you will definitely, you know, find out some new discovery or prolong life. Yes, if you know what I mean. Anyway, that was it for this episode. If you had fun, please subscribe and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye bye!